Hey guys, this is Mr. Games Monkey, your one stop shop for all your news, hints, tips, cheats, and reviews for the latest and current PS3 games. Um, today, I am going to be doing a quick review show and tell thingy of Dead Island, and it is fucking amazing. Um, I enjoy it loads. There seems to be a lot of bias between blunt and bladed weapons in this game, so keep that in mind when you're starting off your new character. I mean, it doesn't take long to start, you know, the the actual game off. I mean, the prologue's only probably about 15 minutes long, but you don't want to be doing it all over again and trying out different things. I mean, to be honest, I played as a um, the woman who is good at uh, close quarter combat with knives. Um, then my PS3 decided to bugger up, so I had to reset my whole PS3, and I was working. Thank God for that. But um, yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it. But I thought I, mean, I may as well give this guy a go. I've got this, uh, you know, stereotypical American rapper who seems to have a uh, knack for um, instead of slicing people up, crushing them to death with big blunt objects. And that is brings me to one of the problems of this game: biased weapons. There seems to be a lot more blunt objects in this game than there seems to be blades. And I'm thinking, well. If you're in, you know, a big hotel complex like this, which the game is set at, you're actually on this huge island, um, there's going to be some bladed weapons. But, you know, after playing two or three hours with the woman who specialises in blades, uh, I, I more than likely, 70% of the drops I got off zombies or I found in boxes were all blunt weapons. I'm thinking, well, that's a little biased. I, I mean, I know they said on um, a few of the reviews that the uh, guns... You could get a gun, but the ammo would be super rare, which is fine. I have no problem with that because you know it make, brings a bit of realism to the game. But um, you know, I mean, you know, why can't I go into a drawer and pick up pick up a knife? Why do I always find like broken broomsticks and shit? I mean, I'm not saying, saying that's a hundred percent bad. I mean, it doesn't put me off the game, but it would be nice. I think they should level out the weapons, especially on the drops when the uh, DLC comes out. For this and uh, talking about DLC and patches. If you're planning on playing with anyone in America at the moment, um, don't buy this game until the patch comes out to sort it out. Because I tried to log on to a few of my mates, um, hoping because this would be the first co-op game we've playing with each other for about two months, three months, and uh, it didn't work. And I think that's solely down to the fact that the PC version absolutely flopped. There were so many faults with it, so they probably isolated the server to get the things... Uh, up and running, but um, you know who knows? It could just be a, a classic, you know, classic bug that they haven't sorted out. But if you do get the, this is for people in the UK. At Game Station at the moment, they're selling the special edition at the same price as the normal edition, both thirty nine nine thirty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Now the only thing that I can see different with the special and normal edition is the fact that you get the Ripper mod. I can't see any difference in the Ripper mod. I tested it out on my blade character. And she's, I, I know it's not a blade weapon, it's a blunt. But it should be a blade because it's kind of like a baseball bat with a fucking ripsaw blade on the front of it. Like. But um, anyway, it's classified as a blunt weapon. Um, it's, it's worth getting. I mean, you know, it's got a, it's weak. Like you hit people like two or three times and the, the weapon's almost dead. But I'm talking about those big main thug bosses. Um, it will come in handy. I'm sure it will come in handy. Right. Now I've just entered this part. This is oh shit, there's another one. Ah, oh, I just KO'd him. Right. I've just done a mission to get to the second safe house. The first safe house is uh, basically a beach shack. Um, this place is the main guard house, life guard house, but. You know, I'm not going to spoil too much away for you. Right, as you can see on the map, these are little skulls on the little mini map in the bottom right of the screen. These mean that you have to kill these zombies to finish a quest or to unlock something. So let's give it a shot. And they're solid, so. Oh, yeah, and you will die in this game several times. There's no two ways about it. And if we're lucky, 
can hold my special move down. Yo, ev oh yeah, each character gets a special move. It's very Borderlands. Each character gets a uh, super move like that. Oh, I've unlocked it now. Just smash him up. This guy's really good at smashing the shit out of him. The Blade Woman's really good at um, uh, using her knives. Like she like decapitates them and takes their hearts out and shit, which is really cool. Uh, I've not played the guy. I know there's another man, and another woman. The other man is good at um, throwing stuff at people. The other woman's a good shot. So, you know, to be honest, that other woman would probably be the hardest one in the game, considering that you rarely get any uh, ammo for your weapons. And the only weapon, uh, sorry, the only pistol that I got, the revolver, sorry, that was like two hours into the game and it was for a side quest mission. You didn't get it just for like, oh, here's a revolver. And I've never found one walking around, so just keep that in mind. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, I hope you like this review. I hope it swayed you into buying this game because uh, apart from the glitches on multiplayer, um, this game is really well made. It's uh, The scenery is absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm having the time of my life just destroying zombies. I mean, you can just, you don't have to do a storyline, just walk around and kick the shit out of them and get experience. You know, it's all based on an RPG system. So if you are big fans of, I don't know, the Elder Scrolls series, uh, Fallout, Borderlands, any sort of like first person RPG based uh, hack and slash, beat em up, shoot em up sort of thing, um, you'll you will enjoy this. I, I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, that's me over and out, guys. See you later.